Hello and welcome to Infinity. We've got a new version just come out. It's 1.8. This is the official one. It's been in beta before, but here is everything that's new. And if you don't use the beta stuff, that's great because here it all is. So if I go to help and go to support here, this will show me where to go. And it comes to the Affinity Forum and just go to the top item here, news and information. In here, Affinity Photo for Windows, which is what I'm using, but also you can go to the other ones. And here's a list of all the things that are done. And you can click here to see the previous ones. So a big change has been the new templates and new document things. So let's have a look at that. If I say File, New, I get this dialog up. And this shows me here all sort of standard formats. It's kind of speaks for itself. This, you know, this is print, I think. So this is A4 and A5 and, and all those good thing sizes. And there's print ready, which is the same sort of thing. But if I click on one of these here, it goes to CMYK and so on. In other words, it's print formats. Photo, photo sort of standard sizes. These are all inches. Web sizes, this is good because this has got different screen sizes, which you get. And devices here are um, pretty Apple oriented and it's kind of nod to a few devices down here. And Surface Pro 2, I've got a Surface Pro 4 and that's pretty old. Anyway, there we go. It's still good and architectural. OK, if you like. If I go to one of these as well, if I say I go to the A4, and it sets up all the things over here for A4. If I change anything over here, so for example, I say, uh, I want it to be orientation here and watch what happens to this up here. It says A4 at the moment. Click on the orientation there to landscape and it says custom. Oh. So I've changed it, that says. And if I click on the plus next to it here, it goes to my presets and puts it in there. And if I right click on that and say rename preset, I can say A4 landscape. And there you go. And I can now, instead of going here and changing things, I can go straight to my presets and do this. You can fill this up with really useful things. So that's kind of good. So let's do one of those. And then you can do various changes to this. So for example, I'm going to put in a just an ellipse here, just to show what this is like. So if it's a starting point for a document, I want to go go to this, you know, some other time. Um, I can sort of save this as what's called a template. You can do file, save as here, and hit uh, untitled here and change that to a .af template. You can do it that way. Or I can say file, export as template, and yeah, there it goes to the .af template already there, which is kind of the best way to do it, I think. And I will call this red, red landscape. There we go. So now what that means is if I delete this, and if, it's, if that was like a starting point for whatever, that was a logo, etc., for a, a, a some sort of thing that I'm producing for a company, then I might go to File, New here, but then go to, to Templates. And here I've got the various templates that I've saved. So there's that red landscape. To I've set it up to this particular folder here. You, to, you click on Add Folder, navigate to the folder, and it's easy. It just sets up that one there. You can even show in Explorer here, which is handy, because if I try to want to delete these, I can't delete them here, but I can show it in Explorer and delete it there. So that's good. So those are some pretty good things. Let's have a look at what else we've got here. Um, Pantone library. If you're a graphic artist, you'll know what Pantone is. And for the rest of us, it probably don't use it. Lens stuff. Um, this is lens correction and, and, and so on. This is kind of handy too. So let's go to back here if i say file open and i've taken a raw file here then in this uh the developer persona i've got you know the basic stuff is, is the same here but if i go to the lens this here is new this little bit and this says it's found a lens profile for the camera because up here it says what the camera is it's a rx 100 mark 5 
but it's the the 100 Mark III and compatibles. It basically it's the same lens. It's a little Zeiss 1.8 24-70, which is very nice. But this means I can do take off that and do lens correction manually. Because you'll notice here, see that up there? When I put this in, it's straightened this out, but in doing so it's losing stuff out the edge here. But what this means is, is I can take that off. I can play with distortion now myself and then crop in on here manually so if I, I don't lose those things which were there before. So that's kind of handy as well. And what else is there? Um, big plugin support improvements. Yes, including Nick Collection. That is good. I, I like Nick. I use it uh, uh, upon occasion. Let's go to the Persona here. So this is back in the Photo Persona. And I'll go Filters, Plugins, and there's Nick Collection. And if we say Silver Effects, um, this is the black and white one. It does some great black and white stuff for things. And there it is. And you can pick the personas, you know, so the presets down here, you know, for example, and then go over here and tweak them to however you want them to be. Um, lots of sort of film things, grains and so on there. So that's a really neat thing if you use Nick. And what else? Um, so yes, plugin support a lot, lots of just generally better. There'll be lots of other plug plugins which didn't work before, which probably do now. Um, metadata, so that's the things like all that tells you how your camera is set up and so on. Um, PSD smart objects, if you're importing things from Photoshop, if you use them both. And people with Canon, newer Canon photos, uh, cameras, which do CR3, but CR2 for a long time. No, they'll be delighted. Yay, I use Sony. I don't care. But there we go. And many other improvements and fixes. Yes, lots of them. And there's a bunch of fixes here, and there's more. In here, this lot down here, it says improved, improved, improved. This is these are these guys are heroes doing this. Because they've these little background stuff, it's not big and whizzy fancy features, it's just they've made things better. Like this, improved performance of operations with the large selections. Somebody rewrote algorithms and things for that. That's really great. So uh, and a whole bunch of these things here. One of these things here, where is it good? They re-implemented the HSL filters HSV option. That's really good. I have nagged about that for ages. I did videos some time ago when it was 1.6 and it had the had the HSV in. Let's have a look at this. So I go down to HSL and it's this little thing up here. And look at the way that it affects this. I'm not sure it's going to work this because this is fairly monochrome. And see, I can say a little bit here. It's, it's showing a bit. Yeah, your saturation that there changes and luminance just goes to black and to white. If I click on HSV, then these change a bit. In this particular, the, the luminance here, it's actually a lot nicer the way that it works. So th there's just things. That wasn't a great demo because it needs a colour picture. But have a play and go look at my HSV ones. That's really, really good. So there, there are just so many things here. What else? I made some notes here. Oh yes, a little thing here, which is macros and libraries. If I I just got shift L to show the library. Here we go. I moaned about this and they fixed it. But basically the when you have long names here, they kind of wrapped around here. They fixed it so they go all the way across. Just a nice little thing. Thanks guys. And it's always nice you report a bug and it gets fixed. So that's really, really useful and good. And what else was there? Oops, I did do that. So let's have another look. Here to uh, news and information and if I need a photo. Um, oh yes, there was just other one other thing was in unsharp, it just mentions it down here. But they've there it is improved unsharp mask threshold. Threshold in unsharp is kind of like people ignore it a lot, but they've made it better. Uh, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. It's a tricky kind of thing. So there we go. Lots of really good things in here. 
and just want to say thanks to the Affinity folks and I hope you can see some of the, these here and keep on supporting Affinity. I don't work for them. Uh, they don't give me money. They can if they like, but they don't at the moment. <laughs> so here we go and thank you very much for watching.